Hello everybody and welcome back to The Plague Kingdom Wars. Uh, for those of you who are new, I'm Katmandu and in this episode we're going to continue on with our little playthrough of The Plague Kingdom Wars. So yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. If you are, don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, if you are liking it, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively. So if you could show your support, man, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, if you guys want to get in touch with me in the description down below is all my contact details. So you can go and check all that out. Uh, as well as commenting on these videos. Um, yeah, I do check all the comments on the videos. And um, yeah, I do try and reply to them um, as best I can. Um, yeah, if you guys also want to be in with a chance of winning the giveaway at 500 subs. And don't forget to be subscribed as well. And um, yeah, I just want to give a quick shout out to um, Reveri World Studios as well. For letting me have a key um, a few days before launch. Yeah, I really do appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I think what I'm going to do is the game actually launches on the 9th of July, guys. So if you want to pick it up, uh, you can go and wishlist it on Steam and stuff. But I think what I'll do is I'm going to play a few sort of uh, episodes now. And then maybe when it releases on the 9th of July, maybe we'll start from scratch again. Sort of like trying to implement all the lessons that we've learned in this little sort of mini playthroughs, I guess. Um, so yeah, obviously it's, um, it's from the makers of Medieval Kingdom Wars, obviously. And... Yeah, it's sort of a grand strategy slash RTS sort of hybrid. Um, and obviously there's a couple of other elements to it as well that I noticed playing it. Obviously it seems like sort of city builder type game as well. So yeah, you can sort of grow your cities and stuff, which is really cool. Um, it looks like at the minute I've got no citizens in my both the towns. Obviously I don't really know too much about the game, to be honest. I really don't. Obviously I'm new to it, but I'm um, willing and eager to learn. So uh, let's play it. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't seem... Yes, I am. Okay. Right. Yeah, so we own, at the minute, Kings Lynn and Ipswich. Um, so, at the minute, my main base, by the looks of it, is obviously Kings Lynn. It's my bigger area. And then Ipswich is just sort of like my smaller... I, I think they call it in here like a hamlet. Um, it doesn't actually say... Contentment. Yeah, it doesn't actually say if it's a hamlet or not. But I'm guessing just for the pure size of it. Uh, I'm guessing obviously things like that like Norwich seems like a town. Uh, I do want to sort of concentrate a bit on Kings Lynn a little bit I don't really know what I want to do, but I definitely know I want to concentrate on it um, Just having a quick look we've got four more building plots within the city So let's enter the city and um, yeah, I'll show you guys a little bit of that um, I think the only issue I'll have with this game so far is sort of like these loading screens Obviously they seem to take a while Um yeah, it's not really that much of sort of like, I guess, like a smooth transition from in and out of sort of like the city city map, I guess. From like the world map to like your inner city map. The transition's a bit like long-winded, as you guys can tell. Um, but again, this is like, this is early, early, early access. Um, obviously, this is even before the game's been released. So obviously, there may be some bugs that they'll iron out in the coming days before launch. Um, ah, there we go. We finally have our wall up. Excellent. Yeah, so obviously this wasn't showing up on the last time. Obviously, I'm guessing maybe just because. Ready to hunt your grace. Can I let, can I get you guys like a keen eye and a quiver full of arrows? You sort of half in half out there, boys. Where is the gate? Is it here? I think that's the gate. As stealthy as the antlered stag. Hunters, yeah, just get going now. Come over here, boys. I'm trying to just sort of um, gather them together. Because obviously, like I said, the walls weren't showing up before. So it seems like some of them have sort of glitched out of the wall, like here. I'm just trying to sort of get them sort of together, I guess. The hunt has begun. Let's try and get them sort of outside the walls, I guess. If you guys can Hunters, just come out. get going now. Uh, just so I can gather you boys together, that'd be nice. Okay, there we go. Because yeah, there is actually a way Aye, you can. This be the gate. Yeah, so you can um, repair gate, repair wall. Yeah, I think it's here. You can actually choose to open all gates or close all gates. Have we just got the one gate? 
I think that's sort of how it's looking. We've just got the one gate. Yeah, I think that's the case. That's fine. That's cool, cool, cool. Right, what is this? Okay, it's saying it's a wall, but it's definitely not a wall. Buy Palisade Bailey upgrade. Uh, no. Oh, so I've got my army there. I've got one there. I've got one there, and I've got one outside the gate. I've got one here as well. Yeah, so we're quite sort of fortified here, to be honest. We're quite good. Um, but I do want to build. I've still got a couple of building plots and that. Um, and obviously, I do want to see sort of what we need here, really. Obviously, I need... Oh, we've got some citizens here now. Okay, okay. Um, so, yeah, so I'm looking at things like wood. I want to get wood up. So I think that's going to be one of my main... No, if I can, yeah, if I can get these just to move over. Right, so, actually, let's go, uh, let's go back to the city. It's just easier to have a look at the city view, because it actually tells you sort of like what, what you got more of, what you got less of, and stuff like that. I just wish these transitions between the, like, the world map and the, the city map were a bit shorter. Just takes a little bit of time. Right, yeah, so as you can see here, obviously we're, we're like plus 12, so we're making plus 22 stone. Uh, making plus 10 wood, I want that to be more. Um... Yeah, obviously, when it comes to Ipswich, I think, yeah, look, we're pretty much sort of full. We can't really do a lot more in that city, really. Um, but I can do a load more here. So what I want to do is I want to get... That's my stone mine. So if I can get a lumber... Oh, I can't because it costs 70 wood. Ah, okay. Herbalists. No, barracks. Well, I might do a barracks. That's 200 stone. We've got 200 stone. All right, let's build a barracks. And I want to get... Oh, we're getting a lot of silver, to be fair. Obviously, these are not open yet. Masonry, sawmill, mill. All right, so we've got a barracks there now, so we can start making... Um... Art unhappy with progress so far, my lord? No. Yeah, I opened some of these just, just towards the end of, like, obviously, the second episode that we put up. Obviously, the first episode and the second episode, I, I sort of filmed it as one episode. But, obviously, I realised it was going to be too long, so I split it in two. But just as I finished recording that, obviously, I started opening some of these. Um, obviously, some of them I can't because I haven't got the wood and stuff. But, like, this one here, I opened the watchtowers, um, stout palisade. Uh, supply carts, uh, semin annual assessment, whatever that is. More, uh, that's more frequent taxes uh, assessment. Slightly increases tax revenue. I did the church one here, uh, and I did quite a lot for the common military, military, advanced military. Uh, I couldn't do the siege craft though. But yeah, so you got like these, like I guess you could call it like a tech tree almost, which is quite a lot to be fair. It's quite good. So that's sort of like your tech tree. So the steward is like your tech tree. My quill standeth ready. I don't know what this is. Uh, scribe, um, scribe keeps a chronicle journal of recent world events. In this menu, you can also explore various social features of online mode. Uh, I think it's because we're not online. God's name, <coughs> what's need us out? Um, well, it's a King's Lynn Army 13. I'm just trying to... Is this to attack someone else, like here? So our Kings Lynn Army 13. What does that mean? What's the 13 stand for? Seems like everyone else is way better. Claim your nation's throne as your own. Wow, that's like gold. How many gold that is? Right, okay, so that's the Marshal. What's the Chancellor do? Own self be true, my lord. So this is me? I don't know who this is. Looks like him. That's us. Uh, we're Earl Benedict de Baltimore. <laughs> That's us. Uh, it looks like here, obviously like that one. Yeah, we've got like a little peace symbol there. So it looks like we're at peace with them. It looks like we're at war with these two. This is France. Uh, 
Uh, Defence Alliance Scotland. Ah, so they're sort of at war with England, Burgundy, and HRE. Right, okay, yeah, so we're sort of at war with them and them. That is Spain, I think. And we're at war with Scotland as well. Oh, I'm starting to see. This is why I want to start afresh when it comes out, because I'm starting to understand it now. So obviously you've got England, but then within England you've got all these like little, um, I guess sort of like sections off of England. So you got that one. So we hold this off of England. Carlisle, York, Lincoln, Towton, and Newcastle. Stalbridge, Chester, Bristol, Pembroke. We've got Plymouth and Bridgewater. Uh, they've got Dover, Southampton, Hughes and Battles Bridge. This is us owning Kinslin and Ipswich. And then you've got, um, obviously, the king sort of owning pretty much everything else. So then if I click on, say, France, then these are all the dukes and all that within France that hold certain things within France. That's Spain. I'm not sure about that one, Holy Roman Empire. Uh, it looks like um, sort of Basel. That's Switzerland and sort of Germany. Okay, that's Ireland by the looks of it, Dublin, and then you got little things off of it. Scotland, obviously, and that's uh, Dijon. Maybe France as well, possibly. But then you got all these as well. You got Austria, Prague. He owns a bit of Marseille, Venice, Bologna, and stuff. That's go. That's Portugal, Bologna, and that. That's going like Italy, Grenada. Well, see, see what I mean? You've got absolutely tons of people, like, violent, and as you can see from the map, you can tell. There is absolutely tons of stuff here. And, um, yeah, that's what uh, that's what makes this game really cool. But at the minute, we are, obviously, we are occupying Kings Lynn and Ipswich. So, I think what I want to do is, I don't know... Well, so that's speeding up time. <clears throat> I don't know how we can... Obviously, I need to up my, my wood, really. Wood is used to construct buildings and siege equipment. It's drained during winter in colder regions to keep your people warm and avoid sickness. Right, so, so I'm guessing because it is winter time, maybe that is, like, the problem. We're getting loads of silver. We're getting plenty of food. Stone's not too bad. Wood's a problem. I think our storage might be full as well. People, we've got 12 or 55. The army, my lord. War is coming. Wait, what? I didn't... No one declared war on me, though. Hang on a sec, let me... Shall I take notes, your grace? Kingdom of England... Kingdom of England has declared war on Ottoman Empire. Who's declared war on us, then? Oh, Golden Horde has declared war on England. Right, okay, so... Ah, so there we go. So we get trade income, upkeep costs. Is that silver generated per month, 25. Collect taxes, 45. Right, okay, so we've declared war on the Ottoman Empire. And, um... Yeah, the Golden Horde has declared war on England. So we need to sort of, uh, prepare. Dost need a report, your grace? No, thank you, are. Right, so I want to sort of try and fortify Ipswich a little bit because it's on the coast. Um, so we do need, I do really want to try and fortify here. I feel like we're fairly safe Kings Lynn. Obviously, we've got a lot of stuff going on there. So if I can enter the city of Ipswich, I want to try and hold Ipswich because it's a port. Uh, and that could be really, I guess, sort of beneficial for us. Because, um, yeah, obviously, ports are important, obviously. And obviously we got attacked. If you guys watched the last episode, we um yeah we got attacked. At, we got attacked at Ipswich. I do love, to be fair, the um just the whole art style of it as well. I love the fact that obviously it's winter time, so obviously we've got like snow on the ground and stuff. I think that's really really cool. Uh, uh, I think the only problem I've got here is obviously I can't. So even our little area is quite big, but I can't actually put a wall around this. As you can see, I've got a bit of an army going here, but I think I need more. Uh, obviously, I've got my artillery range here, so I can uh, train some bowmen. That's going to take food and 80 wood. I haven't even got 80 wood yet. It is slowly climbing, as you can see. Um, but yeah, we need... There we go. I could do it now, which I might do. 
Let's train that. It takes all our wood. It takes a um, citizen as well. But that's going to be really, really important. So let's speed up time. And Because uh, like I said, obviously everything is sort of like um, set up here now. See, I've got my lumber camp. We've got foraging for food. I've got a silver mine for silver. And then obviously we've got the mana and the archery range. So there's not really anything else I can do here now. It's just sort of trying to set up. Ready to hunt your grace. Just trying to set up a bit of an army. I'm going to try and spread them out a little bit. Men of arrows, stand and ready. Thank you. So is that you? Ready to hunt your grace. Well, let's just spread the them out a little bit. Begun. So I'm going to try and completely. Looking for a fight, we are. Good. I like to see. Stretch the old legs. Uh... Oh, jeez. Right, I'm going to try and look. I've got like a little path here and a path coming up so this is going to be like my um so it comes up to here and then down there so that that's where i'm going to try and here's my port so obviously i definitely need to try and fortify the whole area archers are doing it Good lads need help my lord so there so what are you we await our orders oh so you're bowmen so you're going to be quite tough aren't you bowmen for a fight we are got two levies a keen eye and a quiver full of arrows. Yeoman, a keen eye yeoman. And a quiver full of arrows. Right, okay. So we can do more archers. Or bowmen. Could we not? Not enough resources, population. Ah, oh, yeah, we haven't got enough citizens. Right, okay. Let's slow down time a bit then. Um, We're pretty, pretty nice here, to be honest. Got a nice little... Uh, Got a nice little setup in Ipswich as well, by the looks of it. I just need uh, some more citizens here at the minute, but they come they come around periodically. So if we leave, let's leave Ipswich. Let's go back to Kings Lynn. Uh, let's try and see what we can do there. Um, yeah, I need to sort of get more. I need to try and produce wood there. I need to get a lumber yard up. The only problem I've got with that is obviously I'm the, I don't know if I'm not producing wood there. So and I think I've got too little wood. To be bringing any more in, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Who are you? Are you enemy? Who is that? Vanis army. Do you come near me now? Do you dare? Oh, we're at twenty-eight now. There for Ibsitz. Right. I, I need to make Kings Lynn better though. Obviously, Kings Lynn is like our little um, main base, I guess. So we've got Kings Lynn, which is our main territory, and then Ipswich, which is like our smaller territory. Um, it does say in the hints and tips, you can read them. Like, you can research new technologies from the steward to unlock in your towns. So obviously, it's like, uh, obviously, technology, like a research tree. Um, oh, yeah, we can upgrade our towns as well. Obviously, this is our main fort. Uh, woods at 94. Okay, so I need to make a wood one here. I've got two foragers for food. I've got a stone mine for the stone. Uh, we've got a barracks now as well, which is nice. I need to, yeah, I need to get a wood one. So if I could make this building plot, um, if I can get a, yeah, build lumber. Generate steady income of wood throughout the year. Can only be placed in hamlets and not in large towns. Well, this, I guess, classed as a hamlet then. We haven't got any large towns yet. So let's place some of them. Obviously, I've got a barracks here. I've got artillery in the other one. So that's good to speed up time and get that done. Because um, obviously, as you can see, we're not—we're just not generating enough wood, and we need wood to even do things like with the barracks and stuff. Train English billman, train English maceman. Woo! Uh, advanced, advanced in heavy spear tactics, led to the training of different types of pikemen. These pikemen are able to stand against cavalry and wielding the curved blades on their spikes against infantry as well. A and a new structure is ready, my lord. Thank you. An affordable infantry unit that is great against infantry but weak against archers and cavalry. Alright, so what's more? I've got 14 here, mate. We can make a massive army here. I've got the food. I've got the silver. Right, I want to make one of these first. Alright, so this is going to be my aim at the minute now is I'm going to make a massive sort of army. Uh, and we should be able to sort of fortify around here quite nicely. Um, I want to put everyone sort of obviously outside the walls. I don't know if we can actually use the towers for anything. I 
I don't I don't know. It doesn't look like it. But I don't know if it might be Building worth ready to serve. Nice, thank you. Let me slow that down. Who are you? Ready to hunt your grace. What, your arrows. Ready to hunt your grace. Right, okay, let me a keen eye and a quiver full of arrows. Let me get you guys over here. Oh, I pressed the wrong one, I think. Looking to hunt your grace? Yeah, let's get you over there. Looking to hunt your grace? Let's get you the out hunt here. Has begun. Oh, what are you? Ready to hunt your grace. Got arrows as well. Okay. Can I get you sort of outside the there? Hunt has begun. I know you're gonna have to probably go round. What are you Looking then? For a fight, we are. Well, you're sort of mercenaries, like sort of um low-level mercenaries. Looking for a fight, we are. Um, so I might send one outside, and I might keep one just Let's inside around the manor. Actually, I might leave them both in here and take the more experienced ones out. Uh, where's the flag for this one? Oh, there. Billman on alert. Billman, yes. All right, let's get you guys out. To the front, men. Yep, definitely. Frontline guys. Massive, massive this is. Right, how many more buildings can we actually build here? One, two. Two more buildings, okay. Very nice. Right, I want you guys. Need help, my lord. Yeah, put get you guys yes, up here. The old legs. Uh, you guys can just stay back. Let's take the walk, lads. In case anyone comes from behind. All right, let's go back to here. Let's make um. Well, we made a billman. Let's make a maceman now. Obviously, we've got the food. We've got the silver. So we might as well just make it. All right, a speed up time there. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at our army grow, Ready eh? To hunt your grace. Let's move you over a little bit. So these are just basic bowmen. Strong pikes here, sir. Oh, look at the formation they make as well, man. That's cool. Actually, they're actually they're like professionals. Look, these are just like um, just your average people. Obviously, you can make them at the manor. Levies or yeomen, just basic and basic. But yet yeah, these, woo! Oh, not the chicken. These are just next level people. These are. Right, there we go, we've got Maceman. Awaiting your orders. Uh, if you guys can come out. Get to it, boys. Let's move as you over. As stealthy as the antlered stag. So these are good just to have in numbers, but <clears throat> other than that, they're not really uh, professional, should we say. Um, let's go back here. Let's make some more of these billmen. We are getting a big, big army here, boys. I mean, we might as well. We've got all the we've got all these citizens to do it, so we might as well. I'm actually tempted. I've got two more buildings to do, so I'm actually tempted to do one of these buildings as another, like the, uh, sorry, the military one. Do archery range, maybe. To I think I'm gonna. <clears throat> Let's do that as an archery range as well, so we could have top-notch archery here. And top-notch sort of infantry as well. Like your, uh, what do you call it? Just like your, your experienced soldiers, should we say. All right, so I've got them there. Right, let's start. Oh, I can't go any further that way. I'll go a lot further this way. A keen eye and a quiver full of arrows. Let's pull you guys round a bit. Hunters, get going now. <clears throat> I've got this little area here, so... The hunt has begun. Let's bring you guys down here. Right, so I'm going to go for one of them. Is trouble brewing? And then I'm going to go with sort of one of you My guys. Have completed a building. Go on you guys there. Just sort of in the middle. A keen eye and a quiver you guys over arrows. here. I'm just trying to I don't know why but I think it I'm just trying to sort of prepare ourselves for an impending sort of I guess invasion. If I have these not so good guys blocking here. These not too good guys blocking this pass. Um, I don't know actually what we've got down here. This is sort of as far as we can go. Yeah, obviously they're going to come from anywhere. I think they come from over here. So I'm just trying to sort of block off sort of certain areas, certain choke points, should we say? Looking to. I've got the yeoman the there, and I've got a yeoman there. I've got Look a maceman the sitting boys. there. Um, and then let's get. Excuse me. 
Move in now, my lord. Yeah, let's get you sitting over there. A keen eye and a quiver full of arrows. <clears throat> and then I'll get these guys just sitting sort of behind them. So what have we made here? Filming on alert. Right, okay. Archery's done. So can we get some... Oh, they just do bowmen. Trained bowmen. You would. Right, right, let's do some of them then. Filming on alert. Strong pikes here, sir. Got them right, okay. So if you can come out for front, me. Men. Looking to hunt your grace. The hunt has begun. Set up over here. Yeah, I'm looking to, to hunt your grace. What I'm basically looking to do is obviously put some of these um the yeoman sort of in front and as a sort of um just a bit of a buffer, obviously try and take out some of the um the soldiers that come in to try and attack. Try and take some guys out, and then we've got some. Your orders. We've got a maceman Strong and billman. Here, yeah, so we've got billman and maceman sort of sitting in behind, uh, followed by some more yeoman, uh, which are arrows, and then. Billman, eager for action. So what are these? Billman, eager for action. Yeah, so let's get them sort of sitting pretty, back sort of behind. Billman, into position. And then we'll get these guys who are archers. Can I click on the flag? Bowman, stand ready. Let's get these outside. Win it. So obviously these should hit at a um, a distance. I don't know what we can do about all these. Huh? Actually, gives you like food and stuff. Can we, like, catch them or something? That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Well, we've got ten more civilians, so we've got plenty more um, civilians to work with here. Your trusty militia standing by. Yeah, you're just your basic ones. I'll keep them inside. We await our orders. Right, let's bring these guys up. Obviously, I'll organise it a little bit more um, at a later time. I think for now I'm just trying to sort of uh, fortify our area. Obviously I'm going to bring these down a little bit possibly. A keen eye and a quiver full of arrows. What's behind there? Because it looks like there's a big gap here but there's not. Right, let's bring them down a little bit. Hunters, get going now. Just trying to create a bit of room for some more Look people. Alert, boys. All right, so where are you going? You're going there, so then you can come down to here. Move those iron balls. A keen eye and a quiver full of arrows. Right, let's um, let's make some more archers. And let's train some more. Yeah, I think these billmen seem the best because they can sort of take on anybody. He's billmen and archers. I'm not really going to mess with any of the other cheaper ones. Right, gold's quite low now, though. So we're going to have to be careful. I tell you what, I haven't got a, um, a silver... Sorry, it was silver. I haven't got a silver place here. I could possibly need to get a silver. Because stone's really good now. Wood's really good. But silver's a bit low. So if we could get a building plot. Last building plot. Is this the last building plot? What was that? Billmen on alert. Right, okay, hang on a sec. Um, so this, that's the last building plot here, isn't it? So I think we need to do silver, I reckon. I reckon if we make this silver... Yeah, build silver mine. That should give us a nice bit of silver then to just keep churning out these army people. Strong pikes here, sir. Right, let me just wait a sec. Let me start... Carry on bringing these down. Ready to hunt your grace. Yeah, come right down Our here. Hunt has begun. Man, we're going to have such a sick army here. It's going to be mad. It's going to be Bill borderline. It's going to be borderline unfair on our... Um, to the front, men. On our enemy. <laughs> we're, gonna, <laughs> we're just going to have an absolute... Has been finished, my lord. There's going to be more silver coming in now. Beautiful. Right, I'm not going to build any more at the minute um, because I want to go back to the city view and I just want to make sure we're still ticking over nicely. 
a keen eye and a quiver full of arrows. Alright, bring your boys over here then. We're just literally fortifying the whole area with um with army guys. <laughs> Mental. Strong pikes here, sir. Alright, you come up then. And we've got range. Your arrows, men. Train boys coming up. Bowman, move it. Beautiful. Anyone tries to attack us, man, they are going down. Archers are doing it. Look, you just tell look how organised they are compared to these ones. We ain't got no more at the back, no. So they were archers. So then. Looking for a fight, we are. No, I don't want you. Billmen, eager for action. Yeah, get the billmen out. Oh. Billmen, into position. Set them back a little bit. Moving now, my lord. All right, and then from there we'll get the range guys. Where's your flag at? Oh, there. Bowmen, stand ready. Archers are doing it. Have you boys out there? Right, so we've still got, obviously, as you can see here, we've still got eight more citizens to use. So, obviously, with the citizens, obviously, each one of these units that I'm making uh, uses a citizen. So, we could still make another eight more units. But I'm just going to stop for now, uh, just because I've got a ton there, and I just want to make sure I'm ticking over stuff. Um, so, let's go, to the, let's go to the world map, and let's have a quick look. Yeah, so I, I like the fact that I think we're slow. I think we're slowly learning this anyway. Um, I yeah, obviously in the last episode we had someone attack Ipswich and we just come out of it. We literally um, it said that we'd ran them off, but we were in dire dire straits. We really were. Um, we were literally down to maybe the last couple of uh, fighters. It was really really rough. I think luckily we managed to uh, managed to fight them off. What are these guys sitting here? Who are these? Vanis army. They got archers. Oh, they're French. Got French pikemen. And you got a couple of them, but I don't know what these are. Battering ram. They, they're bringing a chicken. Why? <laughs> why, why are you bringing a chicken for, bro? Is that the strength of our army? What is that? Shield there. Is that like four? The bright day brings forth the adder, my lord. English bowman. Thee, I pray. There's not a town there, though. It says attack town, but where? Ah, oh, I see. Look, I see. Uh, I think I can only do these ones, can't I? Right, so this honor's bound, I wait. I'll fight till my bones and my flesh be hacked. Good lad, I like it. Yes, yeah, so they've got an army there of like forty-four. They've got forty. There's forty-four. We're only fourteen. Thou shouldst pay heed to a certain matter at hand, my lord. Right, so we need to up this a little bit. Um, can we add... Oh, we ain't really got a lot of silver at the moment. Let's try and add at least a couple of these. Let's do a, just a couple of them for now. At least that's up to 20. Brings forth the adder, my lord. <clears throat> I think we just need to... Uh, need to up our silver a little bit. Right, guys. Unfortunately, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, if you did like it, don't forget to sub don't forget to subscribe as well if you haven't already. Uh, both the likes and subscribes really do help me out massively. So if you could show your support, man, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, if you guys want to get in touch with me, in the description down below is all my contact details. So you can go and check all that out as well. Uh, as well as commenting on the videos as well. <coughs> um, yeah, it's another good way to sort of get in touch with me is just commenting down below. And um, yeah, I do like to try and check all the um, comments and that. And I do try and uh, reply to them all as well. And um, yeah, if you guys want to be in with a chance of winning the giveaway at 500 subs, don't forget to be subscribed as well. And uh, until the next time, have a good one. Stay safe out there. Peace out. <laughs>